Okay, this is the new power feed. Uh, we've swapped uh, an original Bridgeport Vary speed for one of the new ones because the Vary speed was uh, you know, past its best. So to change from on with, a, with a, an original uh, Bridgeport Vary speed on, you're gonna have an adapter shaft. Now I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's just under there. I'll try and focus in a bit better. I know it's a bit dark. But that's the adapter shaft there with the two drives on it. So that comes in the kit when you buy the adapter shaft. And that takes it from the original Bridgeport Vary speed. Which I'll just show you in a second. See, so you can actually see uh, an adapter shaft. And it sits sort of around that sort of area, you know. And takes the power feed. This one isn't quite finished yet. It doesn't have any of the drives in it. So that's what you need to upgrade from this to a brand new style power feed. So we're just going to uh, take this apart now and show you where, where you need to do a bit of shimming, which is where the, the vast majority of the work is when putting one on. Okay, we can look carefully. That you can see, we're just taking one, a couple of the shims off now. So we weren't happy with the position. So we're just going to. These are all in the pack, by the way. Uh, so we just take one of those out, and we're going to put it back together and and see how the land lies once that's in. So when you put it back together it's easier if you make sure that the little uh, woodruff keys are upwards so they don't fall out. This machine's got a safety handle as well, so when the when the power feed kicks in, the handle just spins. Doesn't hurt your hand if it happens to hit it. As you can see, that's the sort of sound it should make when it's going nice and smooth. And then, if you've got it right, when you push that now, you just go to turn the handle. It just clicks in, and then. If we had power to it, it would drive, but we don't at the moment because we're still setting up. Okay, so that's how you just change your shims. All those are in the pack as well. So this is uh, where to take the power from on the Bridgeport Miller machine. This is the power cabinet here. This is a relatively new one. There are several different types. But you should have an Erskine unit of sorts that will, may look, look a bit different, but basically be a black box in the bottom with Erskine written on it. So you won't need this black box anymore or any of this cable loom that you can see going out here. So remove all these just by unscrewing there and it'll come off as a unit just like that. And once all that's done you take this out, you trace the power through which is these, see this red and the brown here? That comes through and it's actually coming off this contactor here. So that's 110 volts coming off there. So that's your contactor for your power feed. Sometimes it's down here on the bottom, but you'll always have two wires coming off it and going to the Erskine unit, so that's how you can tell which one's which. Okay, so the new power power for the new power feed, which is 110 volts, is going to come from those two cables there. And that's already fused on this system here. Okay. So that's where to take the power from for the new power feed. Okay, so I'm just showing you the uh, power feed upgrade. Now it still operates as normal off this switch here. So that's how to turn it on and off on the bridge port. It still works on the e-stop. 
Uh, just put that, press, press that back on to, uh, to apply power to it again. It works at a 110 volt supply. So you can see when you've got power because you've got a light on here. Okay, so you've got a variable speed here and rapid override there. And now the kit comes with auto stops. So you can see one of them here and you just move that up and down as and wherever you need it, you know. And when that stop hits the micro switch here, it just shuts the feed down. So that's, that's what they look like uh, before you put them on. And they just simply and easily just slip into the uh, slotted area on the end there. Okay, so I'll just power that up now. This plate's also in the kit. Okay, so you can vary the speed right the way down to almost nothing. And you can rapid override if you want. Take your finger off and it goes straight back to feed. Back to the middle, let it stop and then go the other way. Again, you can vary the speed up, down, or rapid override. Just turn it back to the middle, let it stop. And there's also a power off switch here, so the indicator goes off. Uh, back on again. Okay.